friend, it's Pat Sloan here. So this is the end of August. We have video today and tomorrow, and then we're have a little break and start again in September after Labor Day. And I think September is a rejuvenating time for a lot of quilters. August for a lot of people is a slow down time. You might be, or it might be a really fast time if you've got kids going to school, back to school, off to college and just trying to get in last minute things. So I've found over the years that a lot of people are just like not available in most of August and particularly the end of August. And originally when I was doing my calendar for August, I thought I'm just taking a week off. And I didn't do it because I knew I really didn't have anything planned that I wanted to do. So instead my version, the next two days of a week off, <laughs> I know my week is two days. Don't do the math. <laughs> <laughs> my version is to just have some slow, easy, not slow, but you know, I'm not doing anything major. Um, and quilting wise, I'm doing a lot less this week, just enough that has to be done. Uh, and for these two videos, it's just going to be a little show and tell, a little chit chat for today and tomorrow. But there's also fun things always fun things, but it's, I didn't have to sew blocks for these days or anything like that. So it's kind of nice, kind of nice just to have a little bit of chitty chat. Okay. So for the day of the, in the, of the month today in the day of the month is bow tie day. And like, you know, bow ties for people wearing them, they're not really an accessory we wear uh, that often. Women rarely wear bow ties and men probably rarely wear bow ties as well, but we are quilters and you have bow tie quilts. So today share your bow tie quilts if you have one. There are dimensional ones I've seen that are so cool. So just share share them over at Quilt Along with Pat Sloan. I can't wait, can't wait to see them. I want to remind you to sign up for my email notices if you have not done it yet. Because the service I'm using is gone as of the th after the 30th of August. It is shut down. The company is closing that product and you need to sign up for the other product if you still want to get email notices. And if you've never got my email notices, you can do that. It just shows uh, the blog post that I do usually on Monday and Wednesday, but occasionally like when I have the fabric tour that'll be coming up in November, I will be doing every day of the tour. So it's like five days in a row. You'll get an email notice of who's on the tour, where they are. I ha will have that here at the videos as well, but the website is the main is kind of the main driver for that. So if you want to get signed up on our calendar for today, I had book nook and it's a special book nook because it is a giveaway. Yeah. So exciting there. It's a story, the wedding quilt. There we go by Jeffrey Wynn, uh, Jeffrey Wynn Itrick. I'm not sure I pronounced that last name, right? And it is a story about a woman who goes back to her hometown. Let me just read it to you. Adopted as an infant, art quilter Lisbeth James has no clue about her family waiting for her. After her maternal grandmother dies, Lisbeth inherits the family home and travels to Texas, the big old heart of Texas, to claim her inheritance. What do you think she's getting? What do you think? Something to do with quilts? There she finds long lost family, a man who makes her heart flutter. Of course, there's a love interest, uh, a feeling she has not known before since the passing of her ex fiance and a hidden treasure, a stunning wedding dress. See, I think that's part of the wedding dress. This inspires her to make a double wedding ring quilt yet beneath the newfound joy, she discovers a stalker and pieces of her past beginning to suggest foul play in her ex fiance's seemingly accidental death. <gasps> okay. So there's drama. There's a love interest. There's a quilt, <laughs> the double wedding ring, the, the wedding dress, the wedding dress quilt. And she goes to Wachahatchee, Texas. Y'all in Texas need to make your names easier to say. Just, just do that for me. Okay. So this one could be yours. You need to go to my website today and enter in the comment section 
and then somebody will win a digital copy of this book. Now, I have not read it. I have not read it. I don't read a lot of novels, but I might peek at this one. Just might peek at it. Um, so it's done by CNT Publishing, which is the same people who publish uh, the books that I still have in print. Um, the newer books that are still in print, the two of them, Table Topper and the I, and the um, I Can't Believe I'm Quilting, or the uh, Teach Me to Quilt. <laughs> <laughs> that one <laughs> so you can get in on this by going to my website now remember never talk about giveaway here at YouTube because the spam bots come in and start telling you you won something first of all I'm not giving it away today I'm letting like five days open on my website for you to enter and then I will email you personally not on YouTube not through YouTube and not telling you you have to go to text me or any kind of garbage like that. So do not write anything in the comments about a giveaway because you will get scammed. You will. And uh, it's just the way it is. I have no filters here. If you were on Facebook, you, you saw my thing about the filters there uh, for scammers. There's no, there's practically zero here. I have zero, very little ability here to block scammers. So um, yeah, just don't do that. Go to my website and in a few days, somebody will win and I will email and the winner's name is always put on the blog post for today. I put it there after it ends. Okay, that's so cool. I love it. Denise in Alabama might have sent me the very last piece of state fabric. I'm thinking this is the last piece. So she, this is a pretty card. Look at that barn star on there. Yes, the barn quilt. The barn quilt's not a star, sorry, the barn quilt. But she sent me this one, which is super fun. So, whoops, there's the uh, one of the destroyers or something that you can go visit. I forget the name of it. We did that. Uh, the giant peach there, the rockets, the cars. Alabama, nuts, so fun, so fun. There's a tiger and an elephant. I am assuming you have a zoo. That might be what those are for. Because <laughs> I don't think they're native to your swamps, so, or your, your back country. <laughs> the back country of Alabama filled with elephants and tigers. <laughs> okay, I'm being silly. <laughs> All right, I have, I have another so along. <laughs> Yes, 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 another so along. How can we how could we resist a Christmas so along? So this one is from the Fat Quarter Shop and it will be starting the same day as my block Wednesday on September the eleventh. Um, right now I'm going to keep them both on the same day. If for some reason I change my mind and move the Christmas Christmas one to Thursday I will tell you but I might just do it might just do it okay so let's take a look it is from the Holly Jolly uh, their new Jolly Bar book so they have a new Jolly Bar book and just like we've done for the other books that have come out for the Jolly Bars we do a little sampler with a block from different quilts in the book, which is so much fun. It lets you try out the block, see if it's something you'd want to make a whole quilt with. You get to have a fun project in the end, the fun sampler. And so that's a picture of the sampler and the book. I don't have a physical book. I only have a digital book, uh, but that is it. There is a project page. So you can go to I Love to Make Quilts and you will see the project page, which uh, shows you um, all the details about it. And if you want to just use Christmas fabrics you have, it does have a little bit of a Christmas vibe to it, um, but you could probably get away with any kind of fabric if you just want to sew along. Maybe you substitute the, anything on there that looks more Christmassy for a different block out of the book. You could do that. Um, and is, it is fun. It is, it is, uh, it, it does move along. This one is not just one each week. So there's a couple, but they're always fun. And if you get the book, the books are such a great value and they have such great patterns in them. So I'm hoping that you join or at least, uh, <laughs> get the book because it is a great book. So I have a few, I have a few quilts that came back from the spa. So let's take a look. Well, before we do that, before we do that, what I do up here, I have one, two, three, four, five, five units of the lemon chiffon done. And each one is a, is four blocks that I sew. 
So I do four blocks and I put four blocks together. And then that is what I'm going to use sort of as my working thing. And I have down here on the bottom shelf, this is where I'm keeping it. And the other day I was trying to shove some stuff in the yellow bin. Yes, that is a technical term. You know it, you know it. And I saw these two fabrics and I thought, oh, I'm gonna get these out for backing for the yellow chiffon. One is this guy which I think one of you sent me. I think somebody here in the community sent me this one. Look at that. I think you may have sent it for the yellow chiffon. I don't know. And then I'm not sure it will be enough. So if it's not enough, I also saw this in there. So I thought, well, I can use that because I think that they go, I think they go together. I think they look good together. And then maybe do some yellow, like like some strips of more solid yellow, or I have a yellow grunge that I could use, which is sort of a texture solid. So those are going down here. And I, yeah, oh, I have this down here. Did I ever show you this? Okay, I digress. We're just gonna do it. We're just gonna go for it. Did you see these ribbons? All right, let me sit down. Hey, I also need, totally need to clear out those bins down there in that rolling assistant <laughs> so need to do that i absolutely need to do that okay so these are um ribbons uh lori holt put together no 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 i'm sorry 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 sorry, sorry. stitching with the housewives my bad my bad stitching with the housewives and they use them to make ribbons and different things with their um, cross stitch patterns and you can get i think you can buy each one singly or i got the whole set yeah, I did. I did. I got the whole set because I love ribbon. I saw this guy. I don't know if I, I don't think I have the picture. If I have the picture, if I have the picture, I will have it right here and I will link you to his website. But he did this, put up this little cabinet and then put all kinds of ribbons on it. And I just think that idea is so gorgeous that I want to do the same. I want a cabinet with ribbons in it. I have no place to put that, by the way, but... I could maybe someday have a place. <laughs> these these will go on it. Whoops, I just dropped one. These will go on it. So, so you can get, I think you might be able to get just the color bunch, like if you want just the red or just the turquoise, or you can get one at a time or get them all. They're just so cute. The other thing that's up here is I did get the piece and quilt. This is the first two rows. So they're all sewn together. And then even the two little blocks that go down below. So everything that can be sewn together is sewn together for a piece and quilt, which I think is marvelous because yeah, as I go along, I'd like to have that stuff done. I just It just feels better to have it all completed. Okay, so I have first, this is our lanterns that we did, ta-da, back from the spa. It is trimmed, ready for binding and a hanging sleeve. And this one, let me show you, it has, can you see the design? Yeah, you can see it. My friend who does the quilting for me, her name is Karen, she likes a lot of modern quilting. She does all kinds, whatever I want, but she prefers and for her own work to have modern. And so I've been experimenting with more, you know, elements like that, which I really like. This particular quilt, once it's done here, is going to go up for a charity auction. So I, and something you can be involved in. So you could possibly get it. I don't know if it's going to be an auction or a raffle. So sorry, I don't know which one, but it is definitely that this one will be in that so you can do that and that's made with my paradise park we just finished that quilt along and it's going to go to a new home okay so i also have okay I, you know like i should have gotten these all out but i didn't so here i am the c class the c class has finished binding oh, i did the same by i did the binding the same as the um the little border i put all around it you know because when it goes to long armor you have like all these zillions of seams i lock those seams in with a little border and then if you want you could trim that border down really close so it kind of almost just goes under your binding if you don't really want to see it but it does um give you peace of mind with sending that off to the long arm where they you know 
stretch it and you don't want to be popping seams and having issues so here it is so I have to enjoy it so wonderful and I used one of my wide backs isn't that perfect so perfect yes yes it is okay I'm just gonna put that there because I have two other ones that I want to talk about okay so this this one I didn't get it trimmed yet but I did I had uh, Karen quilt the sweet land of Liberty pattern remember this was from the jolly box right was that from the jolly box remember look how nice it looks I do need to get it trimmed and then I don't know if you remember I had the floral for the backing but I also had gotten that flag panel yeah there we go look at that look how look how great that looks the flag panel on there and she did an amazing job getting it on so that it's you know looks so nice now the quilting is curvy with um, oh like dust from the floor yes that didn't come along I did that just now so there's I think you, you see it in the border here oh, goodness okay so we've got curves and it's got pearls I love the pearls I love when there's pearls and swirls and things so this one is a very curvy and I think with all the florals on it that that was that was what I wanted all right we'll put that there now whew. <laughs> do you remember that I said I wanted to finish up those bindings and I'm getting quite low down on the number of bindings of older quilts that I have and so I think in these few decks next few days I'm going to do another one you know I had like big like big big bravado oh I'll get them all done you know like that didn't happen um, there's not that many left and they're not that big so I'm going to do one of them and this is the one I'm going to do let me see is it right side up it does have a right side no it is not right side up it does have a right side because there's some novelty print in there of dancing marshmallows and chocolates and graham crackers like s'mores yes they're dancing with little faces and feet and everything so here is here it is and I am going to do this and hang it in my hallway I'm going to get that get that done I have I have to show you so there, I said I fussy cut all this. Look, this, see, this was part of this fabric line, and it was done by Cosmo Cosmo Crickets. That was the design team. If you remember them, they were around for a little while. Look at the fish and the fabric line. It's just so stinking cute. See here, it's the marshmallow and the chocolate bar. Why can't I grab anything? Okay, there they are. See them? like this is cracked me up look at them look how cute they are and it had this all the back here's the back I used a bunch of what was left because you know this stuff like kind of just went with itself so there's these funky owls um, like here you can see the one owl in the middle so that novelty print stuff I kind of wanted to use it all up and I even put some camera fabric in there which you know you're on a trip you take pictures uh, <laughs> let's see here's some more of the novelty print yeah this these particular blocks were some sort of quilt along I did with a a gal in Canada many 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 years ago so they and she's out she no longer has her business and so there those blocks aren't around anymore but the backing again and this was quilted by Cindy my buddy Cindy and she did you can see I think on here she had a thing with some I don't know like what is it evergreen branches and stuff it's just all so cool okay let me just move this so I can move that so I can sit <laughs> so for this camping I do have this chocolate why can't why do I have a great big note right in front so I have this chocolate brown and then for some reason I pulled that blue I think for a hanging sleeve which now that I'm looking at it it's like totally awful that 
I need like a gold, like a yellow, I think for that backing or green. So I will redo, I will get a hanging sleeve. I, I probably won't use the, ever use the hanging sleeve. Maybe I won't even put one on. Maybe I'll just put binding on this one. Yeah, I think maybe I'll do that. So I have, it's already made. No, it's not, it's just cut strips. Yeah, it's just cut strips, so I have to make it. I also have the Make-A-Wish. Here's the binding for that. And so I am basically going to be doing several bindings over the next few days, which is fine. That'll be kind of my slow, <laughs> my slow time for August. Hey, you know, that's the way it is. Okay, my friend, I hope um, you go to my website <laughs> and enter. This sounds like so much fun. Oh, I didn't read to you. She also has written a couple other novels, a cookbook, a children's book, and she has a bunch of stories in different chicken soup books. And so she has been writing for quite a while and her family settled in Texas 170 years ago. So I think that's, that's pretty cool. So I hope you, uh, I hope you go over and enter at my website today. Cause I think it's fun, 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 fun. Anything with a quilt in it, right? Yeah. We're up for that. All right, my friend, I love you. Thank you for being here in the Sloan Zone. I will see you online.